Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to this vegan gaming let's play of Civilization V A Brave New World, hosted by Vegan Frequency. Okay, so we are playing on Emperor level, huge map, small continents, and we have got a bunch of mods running, mainly. JFD's civilizations, extra civilizations, to add an extra little bit of flavour to the game. A couple of other civilizations in there as well. Also, a couple of other mods for just UI tweaks, as you see here, just things to make the game a little bit easier to play, a little bit more information available to us. And also, the initial settler running mods, so our first settler, our starting settler has four movement instead of two. So we can have a little look around a bit more before we settle our first city. And we've also got tree growth running. So any tiles that are suitable next to a jungle or forest has a chance of spawning. A new, f a new forest or jungle tile there, as long as they haven't been upgraded or put a, uh, a farm or anything like that on them. Anyhow, let's get into the game. So here we go, got uh, not a bad little start here. A couple of cotton, a couple of stones, we have some good production there. Be able to trade these cotton. We are playing as the... who are we play? We're playing as Indonesia. Is it Indonesia? Uh, let's just double check, let me think. Gajamada. So Gajamada is the leader of Indonesia. And we have uh, a unique unit, which is a Chris Swordsman. A unique building, which is Candy. Chris Swordsman is a replacement for the swordsman and what makes this unit interesting is after the first battle they get a random promotion um, which can vary from you know plus 30 combat bonus with defending to minus 10 penalty when attacking so they're not necessarily all positive bonuses so it makes it interesting a little bit of a uh, randomness to see what happens the first time the unit goes into battle and then a candy which is a replacement for a garden so as well as the standard plus 25 peop 25 percent people generation uh, plus two happiness with the peace gardens religious belief also get plus two faith and additional two faith for each religion which has at least one follower in the city and our unique ability so the first three cities founded on continents other than where Indonesia started each provide two unique luxury resources so this is not I've done a couple of test runs with this so it's not two individual unique resources this is a single per city a single unique resource that you get two of so to get the full benefit you need to trade one and keep one and then you get, you know, you can get plus eight happiness. So that's a pretty substantial bonus to your happiness. For three cities on three separate continents, that's an extra 24 happiness, which is uh, pretty useful if you want to expand your your civilization um, and have lots of cities and lots of population. So anyhow, let's get back into the game. Have a little look around with our soldier, our warrior. I think we're going to go up onto this hill here, get a good view of what's around. Now a settler. We could have a little look. Let's go one tile this way, see what else we've got. Don't really see anything else that suggests we might want to settle anywhere else. I think we'll go back to here, we've got access to the water here, we've got a couple of cotton, Got some hills nearby. So let's settle here. Get a scout. 
Our science. Let's have a look. So we need calendar. I think we need calendar to uh, get the cotton here, and obviously we're going to need stone working. Masonry, rather. Calendar comes via pottery. If we go to pottery, get our granary and our shrine up as soon as possible. Okay, so let's take our warrior, go explore a little bit, see what else we can find. Hopefully we can pop some goody huts and get some good little bonuses. Maybe get a jump start on our religion or our, our culture would be ideal. And once we get the scout, that will really help with that. We can go around and hmm, find us, you know, hopefully find these goody huts a little bit quicker and get better results once we've got our scout up and running. So the mods that I'm running, a few useful things. So one, if we hold shift and mouse over our city we can see what tiles it's working it's the orange bordered areas here we've also got indicators for when we're going to grow our population when we're going to get border growth and how long till our we finish production on our next project uh, so our first ruins We'll go and get that next turn. Have our scout soon. There we go, there's our scout. Let's head out the other way. Very nice. Oh, some citrus over here. Oh, brilliant. Very nice. Okay, so. Got a scout. We're going to go for a monument next. Start improving our culture. Okay, Dakota's grown, very good. Right, let's go and check. Hmm, 80 gold, that will do. Let's just, just go and check what tiles we're working in our city. So, yeah, pretty happy with that, that's fine. skirt around these guys just for now. I think if we were oh here's this Lenin of the Soviet Union. If we were in a a more wooded area with some hills or something we might stay close enough just to try and maybe tempt them into attacking us, get some extra XP and try and level up. But being in these flatlands I've only been a scout. Don't really want to risk it. It's probably not worth it at this point. Discovered Mount Kailish. Congratulations! Discovery of Mount Kailish has increased happiness in the empire. Output of work: six faith and two happiness. Hmm. So it might be worth trying to. We got a pretty city down here. Where's the citrus? One, two, three, possibly, but I think the uh, Lenin is probably not too far away, so. Wow. Parthenon found it on turn 10. Shall the clay. Presumably they must have popped a goody heart that's given them a bonus there to their faith. So let's have a look. So we need plantations for this. Which is in calendar. Or masonry. We have to go via mining. 
Now obviously our bonus, our unique ability is to settle on separate continents to get our happiness bonuses. So we would like to beeline to optics so we can get our settlers out. So the question is do we want to go straight for that? Do we want to improve these tiles first? How long before we got our first settler? So four turns for the monument. Which will give us plus two culture, so fifteen, then we'll have three, it's another four. So eight turns to our next policy. We'll open liberty. And then it'll be another twelve or thirteen turns after that. So twenty turns really until we can get anything out of there. So At least 20 turns before we get our first worker. So we can't do anything here until 20 turns. So let's get sailing, get ourselves some boats, go out and explore, try and find somewhere for our settlers to go and establish some new cities on. Okay, our scout is going to go. Let's go ahead this way. Hmm, so interesting. Met the coast again here. This guy is, could be a dead end. Let's find out now. Good. over here try and find out where the Russians are. Let's we'll see if we can work out where they have and haven't explored and maybe find some goodie huts that they haven't popped yet. Eleven, soon to be ten turns till sailing. Okay. We have finished our monument exit. So, wait, let's go back. So, 10 turns till sailing. So, 25, 19 turns maybe till we can do mine. 25 turns till we can. So, at least 25 turns before we really need a worker we can maybe make some farms on these tiles so there's no need for a worker just yet let's get, do you want to get a shrine? Five turns. let's get a shrine in first get some faith going and go meet someone here, who is this? England? Elizabeth of England Hello, goodbye. Okay, let's go and find these Russians. We're going to be playing for about another five minutes before we take our first break. Try and sort out the music in a minute. And it looks like there's another landmass over there. Or is this just a bay? We're going to try and go around here, see if we can find what's on the other side. This guy's going to keep on heading... Ah, excellent. Keep on heading east, try and find small ruins. Let me just have a look. Where is... Where's the music? Music volume. Ah, oh, that's better. Right, let's get that. 
Excellent. There we go. Right, let's pick us up. Yes. Okay, a lot of people like to go for tradition first, get the culture bonus, and go down through these. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Liberty Tree. You go in, get extra culture in your first, well, extra one culture in all your first cities. You can quickly get to settlers and and workers. Pop a couple of those early and improve their their speed. And for me, expansion and and improving tiles is key to you know to getting on well in this game. Well, got our first barbarians. Not nothing much to worry about now. We haven't got any tiles that need protecting. No tile improvements. No workers. So not really a major issue. Right, scout's going to continue. Ah, that is interesting. So it would seem that, that is a completely separate landmass, which is obviously ideal for us as somewhere else to settle and get our first bonus. Our sword here, we're going to pop up onto the hill. What we might try and do is get. Well, we'll get uh, hopefully a try ream out soon. Go and explore the coast along here. Let's see if there's any good land masses or islands over this way to colonise. Otherwise might try and settle a city on this side over here somewhere maybe so we can come out over there and have a look explore over there but ultimately we don't need to rush to get our bonuses we can just take them over so often Right, so our first social policy in the Liberty Branch now. Do we want to take the settler now? We've got four turns into a shrine. Right, okay. Let's get this That's fine. You were going to go here. Right. Good. Mm. Right, here we go. Right. Do we want to, do we want to put increase our production or 16 turns plus 2 food? Shrine 3 turns. 4 turns. May as well stick with that. That is fine. Got a nice gold income. Four turns to the shrine and then. So, do we want to wait 18 or 20 turns for a worker and a settler here? We could pop a worker through here. Then we have to wait 15 turns for the next policy to get that. And then another 20, so 35 times to get a settler. We don't really want to know where we want to settle yet. So, how many tiles we've got to improve? Probably only one tile that we can improve just yet. Because we need to go through to optics. Have yeah, we got somewhere else around here that we can settle? We've got more cotton. Nothing really over here that we can use. More cotton, cotton stone. All of these truffles, and cattle, and deer, no good to us. So we won't be using them. I would like to get a second city built quite soon. But we may just wait 
and decide on that in the next episode. So please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Share with your friends. You can also subscribe to my channel where I'll be playing more Let's Plays of games like Civilization 5 and Banished which will be linked in the description below and I will be back shortly with episode 2. Bye bye.